This week's square is another beautiful pattern by Cypress Textiles. Again, you can work it in one color or multiple colors, entirely up to you. Round one, we'll begin with a magic ring. I like to use a double magic ring. If you're unfamiliar with that, please see the introduction video for this crochet along. We will work a beginning double crochet into the ring. So that's a single crochet plus a chain one for our beginning double crochet. We'll work two double crochet chain five and a double crochet into the ring and we'll do that four times So when you've completed the four times, you will have these four groups of three double crochet with a chain five in between. On the fourth repeat, we do not do that final double crochet and instead we'll join to our starting, our beginning double crochet and then close up the magic ring. 12 double crochet and four chain spaces. Round two, we will single crochet into the next stitch, which should be the middle of that group of three double crochet. Chain three, and in the corner space, or that chain space, we're going to work three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So one, two, three double crochet, chain three, and we'll work three more double crochet in this chain space. Chain three, skip one and repeat. Single crochet in that next stitch, the middle stitch of the group of three, chain three, and then work those three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet in this space, working your way around. On the last repeat, you'll omit the final single crochet and join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet. So I'm at the end of round two, slip stitching to the top of our starting single crochet to close this round. 24 double crochet, 4 single crochet, and 12 chain spaces. Round 3, we will slip stitch in the first 2 chains. So not in the chain space, but right in the chain. So slip stitch and slip stitch. Single crochet in that same chain space. We'll single crochet in these next three double crochet. One, two, and three. Five single crochet in the chain space. Four and five single crochet in each of the next three double crochet. Single crochet in the chain space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain space. So we're skipping that single crochet. And ready to repeat that around with a single crochet in the stitches, five in the corner, and so on. So you can repeat that 
We will omit the final single crochet at the end of the round joined to our starting single crochet. So again, I'm at the end of the round. We want to make a slip stitch in our starting single crochet to close this round. Fifty-two single crochet and those four chain spaces. Round four, we will single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip two, three double crochet in this next stitch. One, two, and three double crochet. Skip one, three double crochet in the next. And one more time, skip one, three double crochet in the next. So these groups of three double crochet are worked into the first, the third, and the fifth single crochet that was placed in that chain space last round. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, chain five, skip two stitches and single crochet in the next. So as we skip those two stitches, we're also working over that chain five space from last round. And ready to repeat again. So starting with that chain three, skip two stitches, three double crochet in the next. Skip a stitch, three double crochet. Skip a stitch, three double crochet. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet, chain five, skip two stitches and that chain five, single crochet in the next, and ready to repeat again. So you can do that two more times. On the final repeat, you will not do that last single crochet and join to our starting single crochet. Thirty-six double crochet, eight single crochet, and twelve spaces. Round five, slip stitch in those first two chains again. One and two. Single crochet in that same chain space. Chain three. Now we're going to work a double crochet three together over these next three double crochet. So yarn over, Insert your hook in the first stitch to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook. Repeat. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook. One last time, yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for that double crochet three together. We'll do that two more times. So chain three, double crochet three together over those next three stitches. So these double crochet where we leave loops on our hook are called partial double crochet. One, two, three, and over the next three stitches, another double crochet, three together. So one partial double crochet, two, and three partial double crochet, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Chain three, single crochet in this next chain space, chain three, single crochet around both chain spaces of rounds three and four, treating them as one chain space. So our hook will actually go under the chain five of round three through to the back and closing the round four chain five space as well. Chain three, single crochet in this next space and ready to repeat again starting with the chain three and those double crochet three together and so on. As you can go ahead and work that all the way around. On the final repeat you will knit that last single crochet and join to our starting single crochet. Twelve double crochet, three together, twelve single crochet, and twenty-four spaces. Round six, we're going to place three single crochet in this first chain space. In the next space, we will place two half double crochet and three double crochet. One, two, and three. So starting with these half double crochet is the start of our repeat. Two half double crochet, three double crochet chain three, three double crochet, in this next chain space, three double crochet, and now two half double crochet in that same space. Three single crochet in this next space, one, two, and three, and three double crochet in this next, one, two, and three. front post double crochet around the single that we made over those two chain spaces. So yarn over, insert your hook around from the front through that space around the back of the single out to the next space. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice for that front post double crochet. Three double crochet in this next space two and three double crochet, three single crochet in this next space. And then ready to start the repeat again. So you can go ahead, repeat that around. On the final repeat, you'll omit those three single crochet and join to our first single crochet.
I'm on my final side. I'm finishing up those last three double crochet. Just after that front post double. And I will join to my starting single crochet to end this round. Four front post double crochet, 48 double crochet, 16 half double crochet, 24 singles, and the four corner stitches. Round seven, we will slip stitch into the next stitch and then work a big beginning double crochet in this next stitch. So that's a single crochet with a chain one. We'll chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And one more time, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, that last stitch before the corner space. And then in that corner space, we will place two double crochet, one and two. Chain three, and two more double crochet in that same corner space. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, and we will do that a total of nine times. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. That's two, three, that's nine times. Then we're ready to repeat again from the beginning, chain one, skip one, double crochet twice. And then chain one, skip one, ready to work our corner double crochet. So along each side, there are 11 of these double crochet with the chain one, skip one, before each of them and then we chain one skip one at the end of the row before the corner. So go ahead work that all the way around joining to our beginning double crochet at the end of the round. So as you finish up your round you will have made the eighth repeat of the chain one skip one chain one and then join to the starting double crochet which acts as that ninth one on the row. 60 double crochet and 52 spaces. So to start row eight, we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch. I'm changing colors, so I'm going to pull up my loop of my slip stitch with my new color. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work our beginning double crochet plus another double crochet to act as a two double crochet cluster. So we make our beginning double crochet plus another double crochet in that first stitch to act as a two double crochet cluster. Chain one and we'll work a two double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook, repeat, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three for our cluster. Chain one and in the next double crochet we'll work another two double crochet cluster. So we'll chain one. Then in the corner space we are going to work four two double crochet clusters with a chain one after each one. So here's my first two double crochet cluster. Chain one second cluster, chain one, 
third cluster, chain one, and the fourth and last cluster of the corner, chain one. One, skip one, two double crochet cluster in the next stitch, and we'll repeat that 10 times down the side. After the 10, we will start over again with these last two double crochet clusters before the corner. So it'll be a total of 12 on the side before we work the four in the corner. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. On the last repeat, you'll omit the 10th double crochet cluster and join to our starting one. So when you join to our starting two double crochet cluster, if you join to the top of that second double crochet, we'll make a nicer join to make that look like a cluster. 68 two double crochet cluster and 68 spaces. Rounds nine and 10, we work in the same way. Um, if you're continuing with the same color, you will make a single crochet in this next space. I'm starting a new color with a standing single crochet in that space. Chain three, single crochet in the next space. And we're going to continue that all the way around. Chain three, single crochet in the next space. You'll join to the starting single crochet to end each round and then just start in the next space. Single crochet, chain three. So I'll let you work both of those rounds all the way and I'll meet you at that point. So at the end of round 10, you will have 68 single crochet and 68 spaces. Round 11 is worked almost the same, only we will work an extra single crochet in the corners. So we will single crochet in this next chain space, chain three. And we'll do that four times. That was once, twice, single crochet, chain three, that's three times, and one more single crochet, chain three. We'll single crochet in that same space to form our new corner. Chain three, single crochet, 13 times. That's twice. That's 13 times down the side, ready to start again with the four repeats of the chain three single crochet in the next. So after our 13th time, we will chain three, then we start the repeat again with single crochet, chain three, four times. Chain three and single crochet in that same space and so on. So you can continue to work that all the way around on the final side, you will do the 13 repeats and then join to our starting single crochet. So our final repeat here, we will join to the top of the starting single crochet for round 11 to finish this round. 72 single crochet and 72 spaces. Round 12, 
we will start in the first space past where we joined last round. So you can just start with a single crochet there. I'm starting with a standing single crochet and joining a new color. So it's going to be two single crochet in these next three spaces. That's two single crochet in two spaces, two single crochet in three spaces. In this corner chain three space, we will place five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five single crochet. And then working down the side, two single crochet in each of the chain spaces. So you can continue to work that all the way around, placing those five single crochet in the corner and joining to our starting stitch at the end of this round. 156 single crochet. Now at this point you will want to measure your square and see how it compares to the other squares for this Friends Around the World crochet along. If needed, you will work one more round, an optional round 13, with either single crochet, half double crochet, or double crochet to get the size that you need to match your other squares. To do this optional round 13, you would single crochet in every stitch and in that corner or that middle single crochet of the group of five, you would place five single crochet again. So you can go ahead and work that if needed. If not, I'll see you back here next week for another square.